Yeah. So um, sometime when I was working at Whole Foods uh, at WrestleZone, I think RVD was promoting his uh, RVD CBD at the time or Headstrong, his uh, DVD, his uh, documentary about concussions and stuff like that. That's what he was promoting. And um, somehow I was able to do get an interview with him. And so it was kind of funny because I was like literally on break at Whole Foods. And so I just went into like a, a spare room, like, you know, on the floor, like in the warehouse area and like did my 20 minute interview with him, like in an office and like just did, did it from work. And then um, afterwards, then I did another interview. I think that was for RBD CBD. And so, you know, I had a fun conversation with them there. And then, um, so I had his information and, you know, once in a while, if I was in Vegas or something and I wanted like an opinion of place to eat or something like that, maybe I would, I would send him a text or if he had recommended, but he didn't know me from Sunday. Like he, like, you know, he already meets so many people that it was just like, Hey, I kind of always just reintroduced myself when I would send him a message if need be. Yeah. But then, um, um, so then Marcus, he started really getting the gears turning with uh, the podcasting and, and uh, doing, you know, he had Jake and then he eventually got Ted DiBiase and is, and that's, it's always been something that I wanted to do. And I'd be like, I was trying to, and he was talking about like, Oh, there's this list of people that I might be able to have more podcasts with. And he was like, if you're interested, like give me some names that this person might, might know. And so I was like, Okay. And then I was like, man, that'd be cool if RVD was on there. And I was like, well, if RVD's on there, let me know. And he was like, yeah, I'll let you know. And then I was like, wait a second. I'm thinking in my head, I have RVD's phone number. I, you know, I have his information. I was like, why don't I just text him and see if he's interested in doing one? So I was like, I reintroduced myself and I was like, hey, Rob, it's Dom. I'm, you know, looking to maybe do a podcast, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, um, we connected through that. And then, you know, we, we went back and forth, pitched some ideas potentially if we were, he was interested in doing it and he had questions about it all. And we formed like ended up like uh, talking all over the phone about it. And then he was at serendipitously was coming to the Pittsburgh area for a wrestling show. And so me and him met up and uh, hung out and, you know, for the night while he w went and wrestled and stuff. And, so um, after that, it ended up kind of being um, kind of being like we we started launching it. We did it. We made a connection. I know Josh Chernoff through the Premier Streaming Network. He was also on Fight TV and other things. And so he started that up. And so I connect with him. I'd be like, hey, are you interested in maybe having this podcast? And he was. And so, yeah, it just went from there.